Yeah, yeah, good morning, Chris. Uh, let's look at what transpired in Imo State. What do you think happened in okay, the election? Okay, let me tell you, in Imo State, uh, what we saw in Imo State is that party vote buying, uh, 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 ballon box snatching, and uh, bullying of uh, labor party agents at the collection center. Uh, I thank God, bullying of labor party agents, as it happened day before yesterday, has gone viral. It is all over social media. The number manufactured by the INEC officers over there, 5,000 plus were given to APC. While there was no turn off, you know, people did not come en masse because they were sick at home. The indigenous people of that land, Imo State, they are boycotting the election. Because of what happened in the past, a stretch whereby the sitting governor was fought, and yet he became first at the Supreme Court level. So, what happened in Imo State was thorough apathy, not election, but selection. We won all the local government. Winning all the local government is just an understatement, it is a meditated uh, uh, result. The result was uh, stage managed. It was manufactured by the Aniko, Aniko teachers and APC stakeholders in the state. Spearheaded by Governor Uzodimba himself. The whole local government, Uzodimba would have not won an election there. Who said that? This is unfair. What about confrontation between the Biafran Liberation Army and Nigerian forces? There was much, much programs and the what colleges in Imo State. People did not go out to vote. If actually people have voted, why is it that they didn't show it on the national television? They show some places where there is less trouble. But most of the local government, where are they? Why didn't they show it? If they show you anything, it was the past election. Election did not hold in Nemo State. What held in held in Nemo State was selection. How, how come did over over six hundred thousand people voted? Jesus in our state? Christ is the Lord. That number is fictitious amount of people. Six hundred thousand amount of people who voted. Who are the six hundred thousand? Nemo State is a state of the southeastern Nigeria where every twenty-four hours, two to three persons are dying on daily basis. Every day. What happened? Who's the man hijack election four years ago? I make sure they won an election, the number one person, PDP. Who's the man came forth? Who's the man snatch that mandate from Emeka Hedio at Federal Supreme Court? He became number one. And that was how militarization of Imo state region started in the Southeast, and people were since four years ago being killed and man genocide was committed for 24 months now, 48 months now in the states. And they are telling me that hope is anyone won an election. What happened there was Yahutocracy, Yahoo, Yahutocracy, not democracy, selectocracy, not democracy. Are you listening to me? Mepotocracy, not democracy. That was what transpired in Imo State. Someone that is telling you that the man won outrightly that a loving that his governor is the resident of Lagos State. Oh no, 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 Marai has a now here. He that sit back at home in his home, stays in his home, and he telling people what happened in the marketplace. How sure are you? Oh no, 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 Marai has a now here. We are you in Imo State? They tell us that there was election in Imo State. Uh, we have expected Imo Lights to defend their votes. Imo Lights, we are not conscious of that. All the Imo Lights wanted was to make sure that Nan the Kano is out from that detention. There are many bastard Imo people. Imo people and other people that are bastard, there are many of them. They don't believe in Biafra, they don't believe in Kano. But most Imo Lights, they like Kano. They want Kano out. They like Biafra. They want a realization of Biafra. Because of what transpired in the past in that state. How full of oligarchy, full of money came to him states and made hope who's the man governor over them. And they did not vote for hope. So that is what happened there. Are you advising the opposition parties to go to court? I don't advise any opposition party to go to court. 
they beat the Labour Party to, to, to a stupor. Labour Party agent. Inside the, the enclosement the collection, where, collection. collection center. Thank you. I thank God that everybody watch it. In America, you don't hear. You are deaf. Are you deaf? They were pumping you with punches. Uh, in front of the police officer. In front of the police officer. Nigeria police officer, the so-called agency that are taking care of people that are voting. They were there. But labor agent was being beat and beaten and bullied. Police did not do anything. Soldier did not do anything. See, I advise labor, PDP, and the rest of the political parties not to go to court. If you go to court, Papu Zedema has bought all of them. If you go to Supreme Court, Tinubu has paid the whole Supreme Court judges. Don't go to court. So what's the future for, for Imo State now? The future of Imo State, Imo, you are going to endure for the next four years. By the grace of God, the number of youths killed these previous four years is going to be less. This oncoming four years. The number of people that will die in Imo State will be less. Are you projecting, it, you projecting evil for Imo State? No, I'm not. Because I know that Imo lights will like their land. They have been so resilient for four years now, defending their land. That's for 48 months. I don't think anybody, any power, Tinubu himself, even Federal, could stop them from defending their land and their rights. See, pogroms and the carriages, war, genocide, continues in that land. Because Uzodima, if you ask me, is a blood drunker, a cultist, an occultic, highly occultic man, who will never rest until he achieves his purposes. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, lastly, lastly. Okay, okay. Lastly, let's look at um, the performance of INEC. How do you see the performance of INEC? No, no, I, I scored them 0.00%. INEC, we know, still remain INEC. They are worse exactly. and going worse than ever. INEC, they are agent of federal government of Nigeria to rig election. The election did not hold in Imo State. The local government, what happened that was, they completed and supply the whole ballot boxes. I mean, INEC. INEC were brought over by Uzodema government. And what happened there was electocracy. It wasn't democracy. Nobody voted there. They just take the whole ballot box, completed there, and which was why they were not showing everywhere on the television. They only televised Kogi and Bayasa. Human states' election was not televised. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you for your contribution.